Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, my begging you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now the topics coming up in this video. Ramesh responds after Amari says she is suing dancehall princess Shensia. Bujabantan reacts to news about the new COVID variants. Usain Bolt exposes corporate Jamaica for showing lack of support towards athletes. Futa Hype exposes personal message being sent to him about protege and more threats from Sizzla fans. And Bounty Killer shows support to Spice after her album bomb still dominating Amazon bestseller. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Ramesh breaking silence after Amari said that she is suing Shensia, you understand? And before me even show what Ramesh said, for those of you who want to know Wagwan, yesterday it was noted that Amari is suing dancehall princess Shensia, you understand? And basically it is alleged that Shensia posted a video with Amari and must one her ex-man them or whatever Zayn. When I remember when the song Nico they come out of Amari and a brother named Colin the inner the bed, yeah man, so Amari said that Shensia did post that and she also put the run run song in the background you see me so i guess amari look upon that as a disrespect or whatever so according to amari she is suing shensia for defamation of character and some other little something you see what man say now of course you know say a lot of persons of course amari at all but she look hype she feel leave shensia alone she know for call shensia name you don't know how the people them can deal with amari you see me now basically me say ramish make a post and i'm pretty sure he's talking about this whole amari situation and the whole news being spread and social media because people actually are spread it wrong and people are talking about it you see me now basically Rami said well him post this and him say one thing we notice in life you see if it wasn't for social media a lot of you so called IG famous people or IG entertainers would not even be seen or known at all may I ask you to stop you social media to disrespect or tell lies on people just to get your name relevant or to get views or whatever you think you're doing the world is a very small place Let's try to find another way to be relevant and make an income, you understand? Now, this message could go towards other people as well, you understand? Because obviously, I'm not calling name, but basically, it's after Amari put out that whole thing. We see where Ramesh goes about sound, you know, him put up this message and thing, you see my people? Now, we also went on to say, everyone is free to have their opinions to anything they wish, but do not come and make up story, tell lies, and make situations seem different than they are. So, please, I'm speaking not for me only. I know I'm speaking for a lot of persons on IG world that may have different platform for a lot of person to see them or maybe people won't listen so may I start it and if you all want to go and spread this and make it seem negative again like what a lot of you YouTubers do go ahead but me see some things that happen may I ask nicely for it to stop is what I say people so Ramesh I ask you know, to stop certain things on the internet Stop spread certain rumors for him and I guess stop spread certain things for Shensia. You see my people? Um, yeah, and I have to agree with a lot of things where him say. You see me? You know, say more time people come on the internet and make up things and them say all type of things about him and him artists and other people. You see it? So, Ramisha asks you to kindly to stop it. You understand how I say people? So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Futa Hype Zine, people. And of course, you know, say yesterday, Futa Hype went live. He kind of cleared the ears in and said, Iman Sizzla, no, in a no war and thing. But it seems like a lot of persons, them still are sending, you know, threatening messages. Them still, you know, are sending certain type of things. Now, Futa Hype actually exposed um, a message that somebody sent him, Zane. I tell him, say, yo, don't this sizzler, this and that. And Futa Hype also shared another message where somebody was, you know, allegedly making some talks about um, reggae superstar Protégé. You know, master people. So we're going to even start off with that message that them send about Protégé. You see, my people, and before me even showing it, but also I make it clear, say, me not agree with nothing that is being said here. Me not confirm anything like that. All of this is just allegations, you understand? So anyway, Futa, I post up that, and only can see the message read, Futa, that G-A-Y boy, him style Protégé, music video them. He is a G-A-Y, check him page me G. The boy are living G-A-Y. So when you can see this person and say, yo, that you tell him gone the other way and him, you know, him style protege and thing. You see my people? And I'm going to say allegedly because I don't really know if I him style protege. I never go up on him page for check or anything like that. You see me? So anyway, after Futa I post up that message between him and the person, him actually saying in the caption, proof that this dread boy is a sissy. Look upon the date and I never post it till now. And I him 
why I'm afraid of him. So obviously, Futa hype at this protege as well. You see me? So, boy, Futa, you're gone from one Rasta to a different one. You see me? But anyway, if you look on the date when this was sent, it said January the 20th at 10 or 8 p.m. So, in the night, Futa hype get this message. So, I don't really know why Futa hype actually I put it out there now if he never put it out from them time. You see me? But anyway, the reason why Futa hype are born out protege is because of a photo. Well, I know this is one of the reasons them. That photo that you're seeing on the screen it was posted on the internet i think of protege um instagram made the post pan me not remember but of course i know same commander criticism based upon how him look in the picture and thing you see me so footer they did come and him burn a fire and him say where him have see and all of that you see me people so that is that we're gonna move on to the next thing now where somebody has sent some threatening words to footer hype so anyway um i actually cut off the person's name in a this message zine so them say footer no way i do don't play with dada so footer hype respond and say okay dada cheerleader so the person said, Dada, I'm a family from August Town to Jungle. Watch the badness. So the person go on for say, this Rastafari community worldwide, bro. So Futa Hype said, go down an embassy, go war with the beam and them flag. Then me were afraid of Uno. So the person responded and said, be careful. Fire blaze lava grown. Fire palm beam man. So Futa Hype responded and said, Uno better be careful to member a Futa Hype on a ramp with. Ask Sizzler if me are either. You see me? Now, Futa also posted another message and I'm going to block out the name for that as well. I'm going to cover the name. So that person said, Futa Hyper one uptown youth. Mine oh yeah, this dada killers. No, mine oh yeah, this dada killers will haunt you. So Futa Hyper responded and said, OK, Iron Man, um, go to embassy, go take down the beam and flag. I will believe you. Now, the person said, you're a fool, Futa. You don't even, you don't even we. We drop man all about. We're probably responsible for some of your dogs, them too. So Futa Hype respond and say, at the flag I want you responsible for take down. And the person say, I know me put it up there. That is a job for you and your beam and crew. So Futa Hype respond and say, um, go S your mother then, your waste man. You know, afraid of beam man. But one, why me? Go broke your neck in your father be old. You see it, people? So obviously the people them still not back down from Futa Hype and thing and thing. You understand? So I don't know still. You see me? Futa Hype come out yesterday as I said, him clear the ear. I really hope this thing does quell down and think, uh, as I said before, I don't like the direction where it go. And then now we see where Futa Hyper put out information, well, alleged information about reggae superstar Protege. You see me? So I'll watch and see if Protege is going to respond or if him just going to ignore this message come out by Futa Hyper. You see me, people? So moving on to the next topic now. So you saying Bolt called out Corporate Jamaica for not showing support to the athletes them when they actually need it. You understand? So you saying Bolt actually made a post on his Instagram page saying a lot of athletes sought support from Corporate Jamaica in their preparation leading up and heading towards the Olympic Games and got no help. Athletes, know your worth slash power. Know that they all want to jump on your brand slash image for free. Yes, what I'm saying? And I think this is actually good advice coming from Usain Bolt. And a lot of persons, they know they might react to the message and thing. So let me show you some of the comments them. So one person said, only when you are winning, people will know you. And that is so true. You understand? And we realize that the athletes, them, them really not get enough credit, you know, people. Believe me, you know. And even when time them come back to Jamaica, we realize that the government, them not really support them certain way. I'm not telling you, like, I just the other day, me hear somebody I make a comment like that. You know, they must speak on it and I say, yo, the athletes, them, look when them come back, they must fear do this and that and them not get no support and all them type of thing. They and them go out there and represent the country and them thing. They see it. So, a um, next person say they need to seek help outside of Jamaica. The country is such a brand. Any sponsor would be lucky to work with them. A um, next person say I didn't know that athletes had to find their own money to book their flights to Tokyo. So, wanna see it? The athletes them have to find them own money for go to Tokyo. You see me? So once you win now, everybody want to use your image. Them want to use your brand. Them want to use your this. Them want to use your that. You understand what I'm saying, people? So, I don't know still. Let me know what you guys think about this. You're saying about us, I let the athletes them know so they need to know them where it is. I definitely agree with that. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Bojo Bantan reacting to the CV19 variants. And of course, you know so that's COVID 19. Now, basically, the new variants, it is said that the vaccine them don't work on that. So, in other words, then you can get the vaccine 
um, and you know you can still be affected a lot by it. You see me? I don't know if you're gonna lose your life or whatever. I don't really know, but it will still affect you. You understand? So Bojo Bantan actually posted up. I guess him get it from an article, and it says new COVID variants Epsilon Lambda may be resistance to vaccines. Early lab study show. You see me? So Bojo Bantan captioned that, and he said, "Oh oh," with the question sign. You see me, people? And of course, you know when somebody say, "Oh oh," what that mean? You see it, you actually buck up in a something wicked right about now. You see my people and Jano Star, the COVID thing is just a wicked thing. I don't tell no lie. You know, I don't know if it man made or what, but you know, I really just want a thing if it does hurry up and go away. Trust me upon that. You see it, so Bojo Bantan does a react to the news. And of course, you know, say him is a man who actually, you know, him always a speak out against things like this, the whole COVID thing, vaccines and all them things. You see it. So I suppose him must say, wait. You know, this is even more proof that people not to take it because if you're going to take it and you can still be affected by the, the new ones, then where the sense you take it for your seed. That, I just me say that, you know, people, because of course, you know, say Bojo Bantan and, you know, other people are born out the vaccine and them things, you see it. So let me know what you guys think about this. The new COVID variants may be resistant to vaccines, you see what I say. So yeah, moving on to the next topic now. So Bounty Killer shows lots of support for Dancehall Queen Spice. You know what I say? And of course, you know, say Spice drop her album. And based on the whole heap of things that when we see she post on her Instagram page, it seems like her album is doing very well. People are bite and people are support her and thing. But I don't actually follow the hype too much, people. Why? Because I see where a lot of albums come out and them say to dominate that the chart. They to do number one pan this and iTunes and reggae chart and billboard board and rate it and when you finally hear the sales is not nothing like what you think it would actually be you understand but nevertheless still mrs spice make a post and she posts up that that you're seeing on the screen right you can see say the number one and bestseller on amazon and the caption for that spice said besties we are still number one bestseller reggae album on amazon music and we are number 11 all genres Thank you to continue to support my album 10 out now. Spice album 10. You see my people? I'm Bounty Killer jumping in the comment section and say, Go on, my girl, with three hearts emoji. And Spice respond and tag Bounty Killer and say, Same way, my general. Now, Spice also showed that Nicki Minaj was listening to one of her songs. You see what I people? And the name of the song, they send it up. So Spice posts that on her Instagram page and you can see, see Nicki Minaj it actually posts it. If you look at the top, you see Nicki Minaj and the blue ticky. Now the caption for that, Spice said, Guess which song the Queen Nicki Minaj is listening to off my album? Send it up in my belly, belly, belly. <laughs> and she has a link in my bio. Grab my album, Spice Album 10. Thanks, Nicki Minaj. Big up your nice, clean oil, fresh breath, good stomach self, right BC Deso. Yes, oh man says so. We see say Nicki Minaj been showing support. This is not the first time she showed support to Spice album. She actually showed that she went out and purchased it. Yes, oh man says, which is definitely a good look. Cause when Nicki Minaj repost you, of course, you know, say Nicki Minaj have what, 100 and odd million followers. So that's supposed to help Spice album in some form of way, even if I have 500 people buy it, is it? So as I say, people, may I look for this spice, get great numbers. We say Bounty Killer show support, Popcorn show support. A lot of persons are show support to Spice album. Is what I say. So make a watch and see when the numbers them reveal. Now you see it, people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video, people. Don't forget for like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.